Uh, mega churches are a challenge and a blessing, but you've got to recognize that not every mega church is the same. There are mega churches not too far from me that uh, they preach the Bible. Uh, they intend to be faithful with membership, and whether they succeed or fail, their intent is to practice membership. And that means a lot to me as a pastor because I know if a member of my church goes to a church like that, I know they're going to hear the gospel, and I know there's a pastor that I can call, and if I tell them about a pastoral situation, I know they're going to take it seriously, and they're going to know or at least be willing to get to know the people I'm talking about. So there are mega churches like that, and for those churches, I'm thankful. But there are certainly mega churches that don't faithfully preach the Bible, that not only do they not know who their members are, but they simply don't have membership, and they don't care to know who their members are. They've simply become preaching points to gather people and entertain them and do whatever else. Those are a challenge. They are poisoning my neighbors, helping my neighbors to think that because they're going to church, because they're hearing an inspirational message, they're going to be in heaven. And that's no way to get to heaven. And those churches are not helping them. The famous phrase that I've heard for years is churches that inoculate people to the gospel. There are many mega churches in my region that are inoculating people to the gospel. And it's incredibly sad.